yeah, the end of um, OTAs, Brandon was talking about uh, sort of this walk the line between being aggressive and taking care of the ball. What, just uh, in your offense, what can you kind of take walk us through how that how that looks or what the, sort of the idea is? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is that it's just a constant conversation and uh, assessing different situations, different circumstances, different plays. Uh, want to be aggressive. I don't think any offense doesn't want to be aggressive. Uh, and so we want to present opportunities to uh, maybe, let's say, take a deep shot or take take a, a bigger play, but at the same time, uh, make good decisions. If they're not there, we move on. And then it gives us opportunities to keep going. And, and Justin's done that throughout his career in such a phenomenal way. So we're really excited about it. From what you've uh, just watching tape of, of Justin, how would you assess his, that you know risk versus uh, taking care of the ball? Yeah. Yeah, I think he's he's done a nice job, and every game's different, right? There's different circumstances, whether it's on your team, the other team. I think he's he's really done a phenomenal job of uh, taking care of the football. Obviously, he, everyone knows his statistics through his first three years. Uh, he's taking the ball, care of the ball extremely well, and so uh, he'll continue to do that. And uh, hopefully, we get a few more uh, you know opportunities. Certainly, uh, these receivers have have uh, tremendous talent to get downfield, and so we're really excited about that. Is there any aspect of this where you might have to try to convince him to be? to take more chances or is that not a conversation that I haven't sensed that uh, I think he's certainly done a phenomenal job so far in this in this camp and it camps about evaluating yourself and testing yourself in different ways and so Justin's I think done that in a really good way what were your biggest takeaways from from the scrimmage yeah uh, the scrimmage was uh, you know a, a day in this process and so uh, you know, didn't start great. Uh, certainly had some uh, had some sacks in that game and just just some lack of flow. But uh, I think our guys settled in. We got into some situational ball, which was good. And uh, you know, hopefully, you learn from that thing and, and keep building. Are you looking forward to seeing the running backs in an actual game situation where they can be tackled <laughs> and break tackles? And yeah, preseason games are so phenomenal for running backs just because it's finally their chance to really show ultimately what they're they're able to do. And, and we got such a great group here that's going to have these awesome opportunities to, to hop in there, uh, get some rushing attempts, make the plays out in space, make great decisions out in space. Uh, you know, I'm really excited for those guys. Uh, as far as the game on Saturday, what are you looking for just from an offensive perspective? Yeah, I think uh, number one thing is operation, uh, just a clean operation. That our guys are on the same page; they're communicating really well. Uh, you know, certainly as as preseason games progress, a lot of the younger guys will get a lot of opportunities, and so you're really excited about those guys just getting a chance to just go play free, play football, trust yourself. You're here for a reason, and uh, and go for it. We saw some uh, middle eight work today. Uh, how how valuable are those reps and? And what do you look to kind of take away from that? Yeah, I think uh, a really cool part of this training camp process that Brandon's really emphasized is just all the different situational football. And so yesterday we talked about starting the game fast and emphasizing the start of the game. We talked about the middle eight today. Spent a lot of time about uh, you know how you can play off each other and how uh, how critical you know those can flip games when you steal points before the half and then get get an opportunity to take the ball in the second half. Uh, those are big, big uh, game-changing moments. And so we got to emphasize it, be aware of it that that these are critical things to influence games. Coach, is there like a plan right now for how many reps the ones will receive? No, no plan yet. Uh, we'll get there probably in the next day or two. As, as a former quarterback yourself, what what, it, what comes to your eyes when you look at Justin and the way he plays the position? Yeah, I think uh, you know Justin's got certainly the physical things that we all see and recognize, but I think. His preparation, the way he sees the game, the way he processes the game is at a really special level, and I'm really, really excited to kind of see him continue to grow in that way. What about physically? What stands out to you? Yeah, certainly he's got, uh, he's got the size. He's got uh, certainly a, a very talented arm that, that we all see. Uh, I think he moves really well. Uh, he, he's made some plays with his legs. I think that's been a really exciting part about this process that he's going to be able to explore and, and take advantage of. Quentin uh, progressing. Yeah, Quentin's done a nice job. Um, you know, the other three guys certainly have been here for a number of years, and so it's been awesome for him to have those guys uh, there to lean on to, to kind of grow while watching those guys and then hopping in there. And so uh, he's taking advantage of each and every opportunity. We're excited to keep building it. Quentin, what are the challenges there? Obviously, everyone sees the, the physical tools, but there's going to be you know a process in terms of him learning 
yeah. you know, the offense and how to play in the NFL. How do you sort of balance that, like taking advantage of those tools while also making sure you're not maybe putting too much on his plate? Or... Yeah, I think it's it's just a process where you expose to him, like any player on our team, we expose him to a lot of football during training camp. Every day there's something new, and so the, the, the wheels are always turning. And then as we get closer to games and, and certainly the regular season, we start building out roles and packages that they can kind of focus on and allow them to still play fast and play with uh, you know all the talent that they have.